today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the DC Comics Designer Series Darwin Cook figure number two, Supergirl. Supergirl comes not only with a figure, well, Supergirl herself, but she also comes with Streaky the Super Cat and Crypto the Super Dog. This comes with from the Designer Series Darwin Cook line. We've already had a look at Batman. Inside the package shows you the artwork of Darwin Cook. I like his design style. And then on the back, the other figures available is the Batman we've already had a look at, Supergirl, and Harley Quinn. Uh, all figures are sculpted by Jonathan Matthews. And finally, on the underside of the packaging, you can go to www.dccomics.com if you'd like to check out more of what they're producing. Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up. When we come back, though, we're going to get a better look at the DC Comics Designer Series Darwin Cook figure number two, Supergirl. There's more heading away, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Now that she's out of the packaging, let's get a better look at Supergirl. She, of course, comes with two super pets. We'll look at those first. First things first is uh, Streaky, the super cat. These uh, additions are no strangers to releases from Supergirl. In fact, DC Direct, back in the day when they were originally called DC Direct, released a couple of Golden Age and Silver Age releases. And I believe back then, that Supergirl also came included with either Streaky or Crypto. Might have also come with both. There's Streaky there. Some possibility as well. You can literally have the cat flying. Well, not literally flying, but... Cape's got a little, uh, or the cat's got the cape on the back there. A brown colored cat. Again, some posability. Even in the head, a little bit more limited than the uh, arms. Silver collar. Or a yellow collar, I should say, with a silver heart on the front there. This cat looks very happy. I wish my cat looked like this all the time. Nice sculpt on the cape, too. Kind of that blowing sort of sculpt on the cape. Very nice. So there's Streaky. Also included with Supergirl is Crypto. Probably a, one of the super pets that people are more familiar with. Uh, there was also a super horse. Crypto looks very nice. A blue collar. Now more of a Superman shaped emblem on the front there. I like that they've given the tongue to Crypto more of a wet wash to it, making it as if it looks like, like it would be an actual wet tongue. Nice touch, I like that. Crypto, I think, gets a little bit more going for him than uh, Streaky, just more of the size. He's a little bit bigger. They can invest a little bit more on the sculpt. Little indications of fur there on the sides, on the leg, and some on the other side there as well. I love the face. The face just has so much personality to it. Big black eyes, Black wet nose. Good good decision to give the tongue, the nose, and the eyes a wet coloring. It just makes it look not most very lifelike. Obviously, it's a flying dog, but it just gives it a much more personality. Big billowing cape on the back. The capes are a harder plastic, so there is no pliability to them. Posability again on uh, Crypto. Same as Streaky. Legs can move. And head articulation as well. So there are the super pets to come included with Supergirl. Points right away. Points to Supergirl versus Batman. Batman didn't come with anything, sadly. Supergirl at least comes with super pets. Okay, so let's have a look at the figure. The figure I really like. In fact, no offense to the Cape Crusader, I might even say that my favorite from this set so far is Supergirl. Just has a very vibrant color. Kind of very in the same vein as what I said with the Batman. The coloring almost seems more pastel than vibrant. In fact, cue a segue, our, segue ourselves over to the Batman that we've already had a look at. Eh, you know what? Now that I have both of them in front of me, I can't say that I would like one over the other. I like them for their own specific reasons. The face on... Supergirl has a very uh, vintage style of face to her. 
she's not the most skinniest of super super girls and really for that matter batman wasn't a very skinny muscular character either i mean they have a good vintage like almost i feel like the golden age style of designs to them where they had natural proportions a much more rounder face as well on supergirl she has the supergirl or superman crest which is actually uh, indented into the torso as opposed to just being painted on I like that. A couple of little creases, the same as what we were looking at with uh, with Batman. A little creases on the top of her torso. Imagining, you can really see that this belt was put on and it's left all the little creases in her top and skirt. She's got those wrinkles in the skirt as well. Uh, the one hand is uh, not a more natural flowing hand, but at least it's more of a straight fingered hand. This other hand, on the other hand, uh, is kind of a weird shape. I get that they're probably going with more something that you could simulate that she's flying. The only downside, though, is when she's not flying, and you have the hand straight down, it just, this one looks a little bit easier to kind of accept. This one looks a little on the weird side, being as much arched over as it is. The coloring on her, as I already had said, more pastel, more muted. So like even the reds are more borderline a ketchup or orangey red. Same thing with the boots. The blue, a little bit more on a pastel coloring. I like that though, I really do like that. It may not be everyone's cup of tea, these style of figures. As again, they're more gearing. With the designer series, it's really hit or miss. I find unless you're a big fan, like for me, I'm a big fan of Batman. I I collect the Batman figures, really no matter how they're released. Uh, other figures, on the other hand, maybe some collectors may gravitate over to one, one designer brand of DC collectibles versus another. Darwin Cook, maybe not everyone's favorite designer, uh, as his designs are very, very specific in a design style. It's not just a, a tried and true Supergirl, that's just simply an artist's interpretation of it. This has a very, very golden Silver Age design to it. Uh, in the way of her posability, Supergirl's head is on a ball joint. Hinged shoulders, full rotation out. Not limited at all either by the cape, which is good. Only a singular hinge in the elbow, so it's a little more limited there. A rotation on the wrist. Uh, no waist swivel. In fact, this whole torso is just one piece, except for the fact, of course, the skirt is more rubbery in the same vein as the cape. Because it is rubbery, at least the legs can move forward and back. No leg split, unfortunately. It's only relegated to a forward and back swivel. Legs have a single hinge and no posability in the feet. On a side note, though, speaking of feet, she has peg holes on the undersides of her boots. If you had a display stand, you can incorporate that with uh, Supergirl here. And you could kind of have her arm up as if, you know, she is slightly flying, maybe even like bend the knee. I mean, that would really look good. I just would have to find like a display stand. I'll attach her on the display stand like so, and maybe find some way to have maybe the super pets right next door. A good figure points the fact that she gets the extra animals, points the fact that she's just a really bright, like very innocently portrayed, kind of again captures the essence of some of the, the old comic styles. Um, I do really like Darwin Cook's designs. May not be everyone's cup of tea, but if you are a fan of Darwin Cook's designs, you're really going to love these figures. Today's Toy Spot, we were having a look at the DC Collectibles. This was the Darwin Cook Designer Series. Today, we're having a look at figure number two, Supergirl, with Streaky and uh, Crypto. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more Toy Spots heading your way. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.